Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to BK Pokemon Cards. And that's right, it is time for another journey through the Sword and Shield era because it is coming rapidly to a halt as we get finally to Scarlet and Violet, which actually should be the very next video after this one, pre-release Scarlet and Violet. So go ahead, leave a like on this video to support, subscribe, join the BK Pokemon Cards community if you haven't already because that content is coming very, very soon and I'm super excited about it. Um, before we do that though, we are gonna dive into the brand new Mimikyu EX boxes, which is very exciting. A little sneak peek at some new styles of cards um, and a ton of amazing sets that we have gone through and had a great time with together. So without further ado, we are gonna jump into that. Here are the code cards for these boxes. Um, got a couple loose packs as well. Um, throwing some Lost Origin in the mix, which is very fun. This is um, a sneak peek at the new style of holographic card. Obviously with the silver borders, they are encompassing that from the Japanese cards into the English TCG. And then here is a nice sneak peek and look at the shine these are really cool this is a sneak peek at the new ex style card you can see the holographic shine and foil all over these brand new mimic you cards so here are some of those they look incredible um they are a little muted and there's no texture so um silver borders shine ex um but very very cool very cool. So we're going to be opening these brand new boxes today and we are going to dive straight in and we have a whole lot of fun in store. So we're going to obviously be going back and forth between a ton of the Sword and Shield era sets and it looks like we are going to start off with Silver Tempest. Um, I'm not going to say what set every single pack is. Um, obviously, because you will be able to see the pack as we get started. Um, good bit of packs. I mean, couple boxes, like four boxes. Oh, there we go. Leaf Energy. I will remember to guess it the next go round on the next couple packs. And away we go. All right, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. We have had a ton of insane luck and really cool packs and pulls recently, especially with these box sets, which is another reason I was excited for this new product. And our very first pull is gonna be an Amastar V. So regular V, regular V Amastar, ultra rare to start things off, but it could be worse. That is for sure. So let's see if we can do something special as we get a black border code card that was hidden, that stayed in the pack. Alrighty, I have pulled, and this is Brilliant Stars, and we get a Lightning Energy. I have pulled the Rainbow Secret Rare Charizard literally three times now. I think three times in total, which is insane, and still, Never pull the alternate art Charizard, so that would be absolutely insane if we could do that. We definitely have something in this pack. Something cool as we get... Are these stuck together? Oh, that's so weird. These are stuck together. What on earth? Whoa, these are stuck together as we get an Agron... VMAX, which is a great pull. Good card. I'm really glad it wasn't something better that was just glued to that reverse rare. Yeah, that reverse rare Electivire. But there we go. Agron VMAX. So we go back to back. That's a great start. It is a very encouraging, great, great start. And we are going to go back to back to back as we get another Black Border Code card. Um, I haven't filmed in like two or three weeks, so this is very exciting to me. Uh, water energy, and we have dark, dark energy. We've got a Fantina, Haunter, Shellos, Binacle, we have a Porygon, Ducklet, Polyrath, and what can we do here? We got a Galarian Berserker regular 
ultra rare. So we're loaded up on ultra rares and V maxes in our first three packs, and we have our first white border code card as we get nothing from Silver Tempest. Not too shabby though. And there is the code card. Back to Brilliant Stars. These are great sets. So hopefully we can hopefully we can pull a few secret rares, maybe an alt art here and there. Uh, obviously that would be the goal. I'd be so hype. I I we we've, we've done so so well watered energy with alternate arts lately. So it makes me really excited and hopeful that our luck can just continue. Got to continue that luck. More grum. We have Riolu, Burmy, Staryu, Carablast. We've got a Clefairy, Team Yells, Cheer, and a Charizard V. Regular Ultra Rare. Not bad at all. And we're four out of five, which is great. Hopefully we can keep that up. Let's keep that energy. All right, baby, come on. Come on, Fusion. Fusion Strike has been our hot set lately, which a lot of people cannot say um, because it's got a very tough pull rate. Not gonna happen in this pack, which is absolutely okay as we get a Gorbis, a little metal energy action, and some SpongeBob hands, gloves, Silver Tempest. That would be incredible. It'd be great to pull the Lugia. Um, obviously, everyone's chase card, and we get a Malamar character rare. Can't forget about the character rare cards and all of these sets that we're opening today, except for oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. I guess Fusion Strike is Fusion Strike the only set that doesn't have character rares that we're opening today. I guess Fusion Strike would be the only one left out as we do get a white border code card again which is okay. We have Cherubi Drudigan, a little fire energy action and a code card from me to you. Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike is one of my favorites. I mean, I know a lot of people hate on it, but I just, I just tend to get great pulls from it. So I'm going to keep saying that and uh, hope that that continues. Code card, Black Border, bang, bang. All right, let's go Psychic Energy here and it is water. Should have just said that again. Water Energy, Croconaw. We've got Elsa, Beware, Gossifleur, Mudkip, Little Sand Shrew, Kufant, Imp, Onyx, Reverse, and Fusion Strike. Oh, just a holographic. Actually, that was an error pack. Nothing in a Black Border code card. It's so weird how that happens, man. Nothing in a Black Border code card. Just a non holo whatever alrighty lost origin this has been a set that's been pretty mean to us lately every single time i open a lost origin pack i feel like i get a white border code card with nothing in it um and that's what happened right there so we move on we move on no worries and another white border code card from silver tempest whoopee clay doll arcanine fire energy we got a Torah cat and there we go. So let's see if things can change with Lost Origin here and there. Not this one. That is. So we had we had a nice run. We had a nice run of Black Border code cards, um, and then we just plummeted down, down, down. We have hit White Border after White Border, but obviously. A lot can change with one or two packs, not this one. Silver Tempest is going to continue to spit in our face as we get a Stunfisk and a Zera Aura. Wallace, we got a Venomoth, a little Curlia action, and a code card. Hopefully, you get some nice pulls from the online TCG with those code cards. I always love to hear about it. So if you do, if you get some of those cards, please do comment down below. Let me know what you get, and hopefully... This black border right here from Brilliant Stars is not an error like that fusion strike. I'm gonna go fire energy. And it is lightning. Let's hope for some luck. Maybe lucky lightning as we get a ball toy, snow runt, nose pass, Dedene. We've got a Wormadam and absolutely nothing with a nice holographic Empoleon. I'm going to, since we don't know with Fusion Strike, I'm going to see 
what we can do. Let's go fighting energy, and it is dark. So we've got some dark energy, a Pangoro, Diggers Bee, Growlithe Phalanx, more Peko, Smeargle. We got a little Shinx, a Morgrim, and a Greninja V regular ultra rare. So we're loaded on ultra and character rares. But can we do even better than that? You tell me. Not. <laughs> My gosh, not from Lost Origin, that's for sure. That is absolutely for certain. I don't know what the deal is with Lost Origin, but maybe it'll change. Maybe it will change. And Silver Tempest as well. It's pretty bad right now. With both of these, as we get a Blaziken character rare, which is very nice. That's a good one. From Silver Tempest, that was. I love Blaziken. One of my favorites. Great, great Gen 3 starter Pokemon. A little fighting energy there and a code card not even gonna say it not even gonna say it on this one i'm not uh and uh, maybe i should have all right lost origin is a current dumpster fire and there is our code card but i will say the pulls from these boxes not bad at all so far really not bad silver tempest horrible Silver Tempest has been absolutely abysmal, but besides that, everything's been pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad at all. We've got a code, and here we go. Let's see what we can do. Fusion Strike, maybe if the code's turned around on these Fusion Strikes, then we're gonna hide it and see if we can just get something special because Fusion Strike has been the go-to set. I would love to pull the Espeon, Psychic Energy, um, and you never know, maybe we can pull it off. Maybe we can do it as we get a Dunsparce, Aracuda, Little Gumi, Panseer, Croagunk, we have Mankey, we've got a Grand Bull, and an Electrode. So that's twice we've pulled that Electrode. Lost Origin, something got to change. Something's got to change. There we go. There's our Black Border Code card from Lost Origin that we are due um dark energy and it is metal not too bad metal energy we have a polywhirl licky licky luminian we've got a blip bug finian Zerua, paris Ooh, don't want to miss the ink lost origins about to give us something ladies and gentlemen let's see what we can do and it is an aerodactyl v star not even a secret rare just a regular v star with some texture but hey i will take it it's better than nothing at this point but we're doing great great pulls great cards this has been a lot of fun so far and we are only about halfway there so we've got silver tempest another set which has been pretty dry and there we go there we go there's our black border code card and let's go one two three and four i'm gonna go leaf energy and it's fighting that's a good sign that is a very good sign matang we've got a professor emolga vulpix dreepy rotom swirlix we have a jinx and we've got a skunk tank v another ultra rare to the collection it's all over the place it's all over the place today. This is fun, though. I, lo I love going through these sets because it's very... Even though I know nostalgia is not the right word because they're new, um, it's fun thinking about all of the pulls as we get a cast form character rare from Lost Origin. All the pulls um, over the days and months and years, really, now um, of being on this channel and opening packs and just having a blast. So, anyways, whatever. It's fun. Going through these sets is fun because we're moving on to a new era as we get nothing yet again from our friend Silver Tempest. There's a code card. We're going to move on to Brilliant Stars. Fingers crossed. White Borders. These are out of control. Mogram. Lapras, little fighting energy, and a code card. But sometimes that's the way it goes. So it's also a nice reminder 
as we've had incredible pulls lately, that it's not always like that. A lot of times it is very tough as we get Huntail. Nothing from Fusion Strike Code Card. And we are about three quarters of the way done as Lost Origin continues to disappoint. Yep. Even in the character rare slot, we got Slugma and Macargo. And there it is. All it takes is one. All it takes is one crazy pull to turn things upside down as we get a Dragonair, Amoongus, a little fire energy, a little code card. And we're back to Lost Origin with a black border. All righty. Do. Very, very do. Come on, Lost Origin. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go Water Energy, and it is Leaf. But can we get lucky with the Leaf Energy? Sligoo, Poliwag, Oddish. We have a Hisuian Growlithe, Sea Dot, Slugma, Love Disc. And are we going to get lucky from Lost Origin? We are absolutely just not we're just not we're not gonna get lucky from lost origin not today my friends silver tempest has been probably the worst set in this video no shade i like silver tempest but geez all righty code card and we are on our final six final six packs brilliant stars bring us home all right brilliant stars come on baby come on baby change the game change the game let's go Metal energy and it's fighting. Fighting energy, some of our best packs ever have been fighting energy packs as we have a Barry, Gabite, Axew, Nosepass, Snow Run, Clink, Dedene, we've got a reverse and can we do something Brilliant Stars? Something, something, something. It's something. It, it sure is something, that's for sure. It sure is something. Five, five packs, five remain. Ooh, brutal. This has been, this has been rough. All right, we have a Vicavolt. And here's the thing, Fusion Strike's been so hot, it had to cool off at some point, I guess. At some point, we've got, oh my goodness, all righty. All right, we have a Slugma and a Spirit Tomb from Lost Origin, and we are gonna make these last three packs count. Cause I'm hiding these code cards, man. I can't, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this from all these sets. This has been not great, but not terrible either. All right, I'm gonna go Fire Energy, and it is Leaf. This is Silver Tempest, and it is. In fact, our final Silver Tempest pack of this video, Dratini, Clink, Stunfisk, Esper. We've got a Brakeson, Character Rare, and can we get something from our final Silver Tempest pack? Absolutely, heck no, but we can get this Character Rare. All right, final... Lost Origin pack. Whew, almost didn't hide that code card. That probably would have disappointed us, I am sure, because Lost Origin has been really mean. All right. Um, psychic Energy, and we got it. Okay, maybe, maybe it's a sign. I don't believe that for one second, but maybe it's a sign. We have Mirage Gate, Torkoal, Rhyhorn, Snover, Rhyhorn again, Aim Palm. We've got Rosalia. We have a Radiant Gardevoir. And can we get a double banger from Lost Origin? Absolutely not. But we got a Radiant. Okay. Well, this is it. This is our final pack of this video. Little law on um, little evolving skies action and let's see if maybe this pack can be really great really really great and and potentially save the entire video i'm gonna go water energy and it is leaf we've got some leaf energy nuzleaf it is gold duck rubber gloves 
Woobat, Gossifleur, Phoebus, Hippopotamus, Lillipup. We have an Ampharos, and can we get something from Evolving Skies? Oh boy, shocker, we can't. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for viewing that absolutely awful pull video. All of those Sword and Shield packs were basically terrible. So we're gonna do something very special that I am very nervous for because opening vintage packs is few and far between unless you're an absolutely massive creator. But I have right here in my hands a vintage sealed Neo Genesis pack. I have not opened a vintage pack of Pokemon cards in roughly two years. Um, like I said, they are few and far between just because of how expensive um, and hard to come by these vintage packs are these days. This one, the year 2000, one of my absolute favorite sets, Neo Genesis, the Neo era of Pokemon cards is one of my absolute favorites. So we are going to test our luck and see if we can get a holographic anything from Neo Genesis. So wish me luck. Comment down below. The seal has been opened and we are going to open ourselves some Neo Genesis today right here on BK Pokemon cards and away we go. I believe the card trick is, I believe that it's two. So I'm going to be safe and go with two as our card trick. I'm going to put this beautiful pack art. Well, we'll put it right there for good luck. And here they are. 23 year old Pokemon cards. I did two as the card trick. Please don't hate me if it's wrong. Oh my God. There's a hol there's a holographic Skarmory. I did the card trick wrong. There is a holographic rare Skarmory in our vintage Neo Genesis pack. And it looks absolutely, it's Ken Sugimari. Very nice. It is absolutely flawless. Dang it, I messed up the card trick, but here we go. Holographic Skarmory from Neo Genesis has been pulled. That is bonkers. I can't believe that we got a hollow and I can't believe that the one vintage pack I've opened in freaking two years, <laughs> I messed the card trick up on. So we're gonna go through, we've got a Fighting Energy, a Whooper, a Pikachu, very nice, Pikachu, Neo Genesis, Pack Fresh, Minty, Pikachu, we've got Slowpoke, looking droopy, we got a Mantine, very, very nice, Chikorita, a starter. You love to see it. We've got a Giraffe Rig. Absolutely gorgeous. We have a Miracle Berry, a new Pokedex, and a Quilava. There we go. Very, very nice. So Neo Genesis Vintage Pack, and we did pull a Holographic Skarmory. So that's incredible. Very, very nice. As always, please do leave a like to support this video subscribe join the bk pokemon cards community we just pulled a vintage holographic card which is absolutely incredible thanks guys for tuning in and i will catch you guys in the next video very soon